What's up everybody? Well today I'm here to show you another vacuum that's in my vacuum collection. This time it is something a little bit different than what you're normally used to seeing on my channel. This time I thought I would feature one of my unseen vacuums but has made a few cameos here and there. Here I present to you my Royal Classic Power Team canister. This is one of the rare canisters to come out in the mid-90s. And this was definitely one of the powerhouses of canisters. I will say this is definitely a beast to own. And how I stumbled across this was this actually popped up for sale locally on Facebook Marketplace for about 50 bucks. And this was one of those vacuums that I had no intentions of getting, but since it was for sale locally, I shouldn't miss out the opportunity to own and share my experience with one of these. So that's what ultimately got me jumping on the opportunity to get this. Because I have a couple Royal Uprights, and I will link the video to those in the description box of this video so you can check it out if you want. So I thought I would try out one of their canisters. And already I'm definitely impressed with this. There's a lot, a lot of things to like about it. But, and we'll go ahead and get through all that later in the video. But for now, let's give a walkthrough. This is one of Royal's classic tank-style canisters. In fact, they actually used to call this the power tank years ago. And it's basically this cylindrical-style canister with a bunch of interesting parts thrown into it. Well going to show you that later it does have all of its attachments except for the upholstery tool that's the unfortunate thing but it does have its crevice tool its dusting brush and your bare floor tool which is not very easy to get out of this pocket we'll have to fight with that later right here is a special uh three-way toggle switch so you can switch switch the cleaner on to have all the electronics at the end of the wand right there be controlled for your your power and your brush roll on off i'm going to show you that right here see here's your brush roll on off the forward setting is for your brush roll on and that's for just suction only right here you have variable speed suction to control the speed of the motor for different suction which we will go ahead and turn that down for later and also the switch lets you turn the system off all entirely or you could just flip the switch back to use this as a blower and the rest will come out your exhaust port right back here and the airflow coming back is very strong I will tell you and to get access to your bag on this you simply just unplug the connector right there this is how the hose disconnects you just twist and it comes out the coupler design is very similar to that of a filter queen And to get the bag, you just simply undo the latches on both sides. And then you can get your bag. There's one, the cover that came with it. This I actually got as a got as a replacement because the original cover that I had didn't come with this little inner rubber gasket, unfortunately. So I bought it, and it came with the gasket. Thankfully, this one, which. Here is your fil your filter set up right here. You do have a washable pre-motor filter right here. And you also, right here is your inlet, which this has 
really fantastic filtration, even for a canister. Right here is your Royal Type J bags. And there's a lot of dirt built up. This unfortunately comes in paper bags. I could not find HEPA cloth J bags for the life of me, but I don't even know if they make cloth bags in, in Royal J form, but this is what I got to work with. Besides the bags on these have decent filtration. I'm pretty sure I'll probably get a little bit better if I get the genuine Royal Allergen bags. But anyway, to put that back on, you just simply latch this down. And then you can connect the hose end to the top. Which also you do have a little label towards the top that says, that shows you how to line up the hose. You just simply have that spot that says top that you align up. Ugh and twist it to lock. It actually it works a little bit better if you line the bag lid as well. And even it tells you where to hook it at the top. So you gotta make sure this is towards the top. And then latch it down. It's not really fun to do this on camera, I will. I will tell you this. Ugh, come on. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and realign the hose to make sure it's sitting Ugh. at the top. The connections on this are very tight. Then after that, you just simply plug in your three pin connector right at the top. And now you're good to go. Here is the model tag for those of you interested. It is a Royal Model 4650 from Plant A from Royal Appliance Manufacturing in Cleveland, Ohio. And the serial for this. If anyone knows how to serial date these Royals, please let me know. It's 120 volts, 60 hertz. It's an 11 amp motor actually you know i believe this is 11 amps altogether with the power brush turned on so anyway it's by royal it's made in the usa that's one thing i'm definitely a sucker for is anything that's made in the usa and the cord is on the back it is a manual wrap cord unfortunately it's not the traditional canister where it has a retractable cord so as we move along down, here this end of the hose does swivel. The hose is very, very long. Abnormally long for a canister. But it also is crush proof. So that's one nice little thing it has. And as we move up to the top here, you have your multifunction controls at the handle, and the speed control. You also do have a quick disconnect right up here. You just pull, click this to pull the end of the hose out. You just push it down to snap back in. And here is the power brush that it has. It's the new style one that's actually made by Panasonic. And it really look, looks nice. It really performs amazing, I will tell you. It, you do have a carpet head adjustment lever towards the back. You have your settings for auto, low, medium, and high pile carpet. I always like to leave it on auto so that way it's set to the pile of this carpet at, even at the lowest setting. You do have a handle release along the back. And it does transport pretty easily. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, one thing, that little rubber reset button right here is messing, so you do have to stick a screwdriver down in there 
to press the reset button should something trip, but not a major deal. So let's go ahead and show you the underside of the power brush. So right here, this is Royal Part Number 2-460010-801, 120Volt, 60Hz. And here is the brush roll that is in this power brush. It is the two brush brush roll. It only has two sets of brush strips. There is a version for this power brush, and I think it was more popular in the in the Kenmore version that they use the same style power brush, where you either come with two brush strips like this, or you do have two brush strips, and then a third one is a beater bar. I really like how straight the bristles are. They almost barely curve around. So because of that, and also with how dense the bristles are, even though they're nice and soft, the denseness makes for excellent agitation. So this is a great performing power brush. You also do have little edge cleaning brushes right here that you know, some right there, and I believe this one may have been designed for the one with the beater bar because it's got this section right here that doesn't have bristles, but that's not too major of a deal. You also do have a very large channel right up front here to aid in, in the extra airflow, which this thing, combined with the two-stage motor, performs absolutely fantastic. I've this is probably one of the most powerful canisters I've had to this date. Beforehand, it was any of my Electrolux canisters, but this thing performs fantastic. I will go ahead and give you a demo of it running here. Right here, right now, as soon as I release the cord, which another remark I have, the hose is long and the cord is long too. Something you don't find on too many canisters. Usually they come with short cords and not too many long of, not too much long of hoses. But this thing, you could pretty much just plug in once per floor and then get the entire house clean. So that's amazing. And the cord is the original maroon cord. I say it's original, but unfortunately we do have a small little tear right here. But I think luckily I could probably just get by with just shortening this cord just slightly so that it goes back in here so nothing is exposed so at least it's not a total lost cause that's just one repair I might need to do here here eventually but for now let's go ahead and plug this guy in hey yep and right here you do have the logo for let me see if I can show you for a cyclone cleaning power. Essentially what that does is the inner bag that's inside here that goes around the actual filter bag basically creates a cyclone to channel the airflow more efficiently. And because of that, this thing is very powerful. I'll go ahead and turn this thing on up here at the handle. The first one does suction only. The second one turns on the power brush. So, also you can control your suction right up here. slightly even with just mid suction it's still pretty powerful but now let's turn it up to full power ridiculous how much power this has but now let's go ahead and plug it in 
demo of this thing cleaning. So now let's go ahead and turn the power brush on. You can just hear and feel the agitation around the entire head of the cleaner. That's just how powerful this thing is. Got a kink in the hose. The only thing I don't like about this particular style of hose material, oh, another thing I don't like. The connection to the power brush is not really that secure because sometimes it does like to flicker off. Just how long the hose is. It's ridiculous. That's the one thing canisters do have a pro about, is that they have a super low profile. They easily get under a lot of furniture.
this is getting annoying. I don't know whether or not it's a hose problem or a connection at the wand. But I'm thinking it may be the wand. Fantastic cleaner. So before we end it, I'll go ahead and demonstrate this to you in full mode. Connect your credit to the and turn that down because this is already so powerful enough, it'll just rob suction if you use the crevice tool. remove it by turning it sideways and then it pulls right out and then you can simply just connect it right down to the cleaner head down here and connect it up at the wand on. and now you can use this on your bare floors. And if you want, you can just turn it right up to full power. You use a full amount of suction to your hardwood floors. And then when you're done, just simply hit that button to release it. Then just pop it back in, in its spot. I like to rotate this around while it's on the holder just to kind of get it up and out of the way, the connection. And then, just simply reconnect this down into the head of the vacuum. And it snaps right in place like that. And now, go back to cleaning your carpet. And up to full power. Such a powerhouse of a canister. Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video on my Royal Classic Power Team. Be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.